So I've been looking around trying to figure out, you know, what I can do uh, in an inexpensive way, some kind of craft that kind of goes with the house, stays out of the way, but is a really nice way to display all of our greeting cards. And I found um, a really cool, like, really simple paper um, cardboard wreath where you use clothespins from the dollar store. Um, I'm going to decoupage it uh, with some other paper craft uh, techniques and possibly use some felt um, roses to kind of decorate it. And then you can hang it on the wall and display all of your greeting cards through the clothespins. So I'm going to show you step by step how to do this super easy, super cheap craft. And then you can pull it out year after year to feature all of that year's greeting cards. So let's get cutting and gluing. Okay, so to get us started on our greeting card wreath, and it's super easy craft, um, first you're going to need <clears throat> cardboard or foam board that's in a giant ring. And it doesn't need to be too even. As you can see, this is kind of rough around the edges. If you're kind of meticulous about this, um, I would suggest maybe going and getting like a pizza, <clears throat> like a cardboard pizza circle that um, you know shows up in your you know pizza delivery box. Um, usually they're pretty round because they they've been cut you know in a factory, and then you could carefully cut a center hole. So that's job one. You need to have one of these. You need to have some decoupage glue, and I've got this could be Mod Podge or other. Um, this is gloss. This is matte. I'm going to go with matte. You need some clothespins from the dollar store. I prefer wooden, and it's going to give kind of a rustic look to the wreath. So <clears throat> I would suggest if you're going to go with wood, keep that in mind as you pick colors or an approach for how you're going to cover the, the center wreath. Um, the other thing you're going to need, so to that end, how we're going to decorate this, is we're going to decoupage and paper. And I found this is a greeting card read. I found some, now this is going to be, <laughs> it's reading um, backwards, but you get the gist. It's all about, it has greetings on it. I thought this was a really nice paper to use as a way to kind of tie in the whole greeting card idea. Also, I may add, to bring in some of the browns, I may have, I have some, um, I don't know, some paper from books that I thought maybe I would kind of layer in there, um, and some other other kind of paper to match the vibe. At the end of the day you want some neutrals to kind of tie in the closed pins. Um, or if you really have some time on your hands, and I don't, but you could meticulously paint these um, a color with some acrylic, maybe spray paint them um, before gluing them on if you want a, a specific color. Um, that could work too. Because what you're going to do is you're going to glue these with a hot glue gun all along the outside edge sticking out and then those clothes pins can hold all your cards all along all along the wreath. So I've got my paper and I don't know if you've done some decoupage from when you were a Girl Scout but you need like a sponge brush that would be best and um, you could water this down if you like in a bowl or you could use it straight out of the out of the jar. And you're going to start to kind of rip, put a layer. So I'm going to, just to get things going here, I'm going to pop this in the lid just to show you what's going on here. So I'm going to lay some matte Mod Podge. And I'm going to also make sure some is along the edge here because the idea is to cover this. Now you're going to add a layer on top. It glues pretty, I mean, it, it dries pretty fast, so you're going to have to move a little quickly. But you can bend this down like so. And as you continue, to glue stuff over the edge, see how it's not going to really matter at the end of the day how rough that edge is? Because you're going to smooth it all out with paper. Right. 
right, we're moving right along here. You can see we've been layering, folding over, and uh, continuing to build on <clears throat> the wreath. Onward with some more. All right, we've been gluing away, and I decided to add this like um, vintage Victorian paper on top that has a little bit of red and green in it, but still real muted. Um, and then it's a good idea to just have a layer of decoupage over the whole thing. Just one final layer, and then let it sit. While it's sitting, we're going to work on some embellishments. So for the embellishments, I'm going to make some felt rosettes. And if you've been on the blog, you will have seen these. I like to make these on all kinds of Christmas crafts, wreaths, topiaries, um, and I think they'd look really nice on this. So we know that we're going with these like muted tones, right? So I've picked some browns, an oatmeal, maybe a dark red, a little splash of that. I think this bright red's probably not going to work, but I'm going to have it out just in case. Um, and then some muted like greens. So I'm going to show you how to make a couple of rosettes before we get to the clothespin part. Now, I've got a nice big piece of felt here. I totally do this by eye. And if you don't want to do it by eye, grab a pen and draw that you can follow this. A squiggly, a squiggly big circle. Do you see that? I'm going to cut that. A spiral. You're going to start around and you're going to go around and depending on how big or how small, um, depending on how thick the spiral is or how skinny, depends on how many petals you're going to have. I cut a spiral about a half of an inch thick and I'm going to start and as you're going Wiggle around your scissors a little bit. See how you're also creating a little bit of a wave as you go? Okay, I'm getting to the center here. Okay. Now, see this long twirly twirl? Have your end nearby. Have your fabric glue. Ooh, excuse me. I use this stuff, which is the original tacky glue, all purpose glue. Works great on felt. It's made by Aileen. Now, Start real tight. Do you notice what's going on here? I'm spinning that. Turn around itself. See how suddenly you're honestly just coiling it around. And you're starting at the middle really tight. What you're going to see is, and every once in a while, kind of mush it together. As you get to the outside, it's going to start to want to loosen, but notice how your, those wavies that you made in that circle, the wavy circle, they start to come out and become like more petals. That's how you get that petal look. Keep winding it around. 
wind it around. Ta da! Isn't that pretty? So you got this. This little edge there. So you're going to take your tacky glue. And of course, there it goes. Sometimes this stuff dries up. I'm about to poke. Poke a little hole there just to make sure things are moving. Let's see if I can get it going. There it goes. There we go. Now, to finish it off, you have this bottom. You don't want it to unravel. So what I do is, while well, I let this dry a little bit, I set it, set it over there. Then I cut a little base, and honestly, it's like just a disc, a felt disc, about the size of the bottom. Okay, so I have one, two, ooh, that one's kind of gluey. <laughs> okay, one, two, and then I did a little red one. Three. I cut a couple leaves. Now I'm going to do a couple buds. Now, buds are flowers, obviously, that haven't been opened. So this is so easy. You just get a strip of felt and you just roll it. See? And so once you know you have them all, you've been heating up your glue gun. I'm not sure if this is hot yet. Oh, it is. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of them and you're gonna put glue on it. And then you're gonna glue it. Now you're gonna put these on here so that the mouth is outside because that's what's gonna hold your greeting card. And continue. which I think, because this seems like an open area here, I'm probably gonna put the ribbon to hang this right over here. So, I think I'm gonna put the rosettes kind of near where the ribbon's gonna go. Using your hot glue gun, just, you've got a nice base on your, on your fleece flowers, so just start gluing away. So what you're going to do then is find a ribbon. So and there's our greeting card wreath. I picked a golden organza ribbon and I already have our neighbor's Christmas card on there. How about that? So as I keep getting more greeting cards, I'll just keep filling up the wreath. and It'll look really festive and it'll keep the greeting cards all organized in one spot to feature them all. So from the Urban Domestic Diva and my family to you, happy holidays and happy crafting.